Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part second, question number first. And again, you have to find the root of the following quadratic equation in, uh, by the method of completing the square. Now we know that what is completing the square method. So that you have to make the coefficient of this x square as one. So again, divide this whole equation by two. So the equation will become x square plus x by two minus. 2 equals to zero. Now either we can shift this constant to this side, or we can simply solve it. Again, we have two formulas. First is a plus b whole square is basically a square plus b square plus 2ab, and the second is first a square plus b square plus 2ab. Second is a minus b whole square. Which is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Here, this should be our a square plus because here it is plus, so we will be using the formula for plus. So this is this should be 2ab. So a square 2 into a into what should be the value of b? For that, we have to assume. The value of b as such, the equation or you can say the value of this term remain as it as x by two. So x is already there, and we have one two extra, but we need two in a in the fraction. So if I write one upon four, so this two can cancel four two times. So the result will be x by two. So the result will be same as it, same as this. So our b is actually one upon four. So this is b square. Now we have a square plus b square plus two ab. Now I have already told that we can't only add a term. We have to subtract that same term also to make the uh, to Make the value of this expression unchanged, so minus two will remain as it is. Now this is a square plus b square plus two ab. So in place of this, we can write a plus b whole square, and the remaining will be one upon sixteen minus two equals to zero. We can solve this, and the remaining value will remain as it is. So minus 16 will be the LCM. This will be minus one, and this will be minus uh, 32 equals to zero. So clearly, this is minus one. This is minus 32. So the result will be minus 33 upon 16 equals to zero. Now we can simply shift this constant to this side. So the result will become x minus one upon four whole square equals to thirty three upon sixteen. Now we have to remove the square so that we have to square root both the sides and after square rooting, so square root and square can be cancelled out. So this will be one upon four, and this will be under root thirty three upon four. And the value can be positive or either negative. This I have already told you in the previous video. So now the value of x minus one upon four can be either plus thirty three upon four or minus thirty three upon four. So the first value could be plus thirty three upon four, and the second value could be minus thirty three upon four. So we can shift this constant to that side. So the result will be 33 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4. So taking LCM, so the result will be 33 plus 1. So this is our first value of x. Clearly, similarly, if we solve this, so the value of x will be minus 33 upon 4. This negative will be positive. So the value of x will be taking 4 as LCM. 33 plus 1 upon 4 with negative sign. So this is our another value of x for this particular equation. Thank you.